hi and welcome to a new video finally it's been quite long i didn't mean to be gone for so long but i'm back i hope and yeah i'm here with a new video drawing barbie um if there's anyone here new watching hi my name is cornelia i also go by likely online and i like to draw so the barbie movie came out i have been really interested in seeing this movie ever since i heard about it from like twitter posts and when the trailer dropped it was so just it was so interesting to me it was exciting i i don't know the colors looked so good all the pinks and all the blues and yeah it looked like it was going to be something not only fun but also like thought provoking so i was really determined to see it as soon as i could um ideally the day it just dropped in the cinema which i managed to do that was july 21st i think and yeah i went there with my little sister and we <laughs> the seats we ended up getting um was in the front row and that wasn't ideal um i don't know why i didn't think to book uh book my tickets i just i guess i was just being kind of spontaneous but i i completely didn't even think about how popular the the movie was and how many other people wanted to see it on the same day on the first day so anyway we sat down and we watched it like that. It was kind of funny sometimes. Um, I mean, it was okay. Sometimes the angle was a bit like, it kind of looked funny. It kind of looked like that meme I saw of like somebody watching Oppenheimer from the front row. But overall, it was fine. Just slightly skewed, but okay. The movie was great. I really did like the movie. It was really fun, like I said, and also just really emotional and meaningful. I don't know, it was really, really good. I absolutely loved the way Margot Robbie looked in this movie. All her outfits and her hairstyles and her jewelry was so pretty. And also Ryan looked really good as well. I found him to be so entertaining. He was really funny. Um, I wonder if any of you guys watched it and what you guys thought about it, but I thought it was really fun. It was so pink. So yeah, as I was watching it, I was just like, I should try and do some fan art for this because there were some outfits in there that was just so pretty. A few days after, I actually found time to just kind of sit down and just start sketching and it was very random. I didn't really have good screenshots of, I guess, all the outfits that I could think of, but I saw some of my favorites on Pinterest and I just kind of used that as like inspo. The sketching process was actually pretty chill. I was just kind of throwing ideas down and seeing which one I should try and make into like a full image, a full finished piece. So yeah, I sketched out these two pieces and I really liked how they looked. Um, I did the cowgirl look and also the look that she has when she's in her car and she's singing as she's got her pink beret. I think that's what it's called, a cute pink hat on. And um, yeah, I just decided to go with those. Um, I immediately jumped straight into the the one on the right, the 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 pink beret one, um, because I like drawing faces. It's like my favorite thing to do. And I thought it would be, <laughs> I thought it'd be easier, or like I thought, yeah. I mean, it was, but it kind of wasn't. I guess I was kind of in a weird art blocky moment. Um, because I was struggling a bit when it came to thinking about finishing the piece, like actually like rendering it and clean and cleaning it up. In the beginning, it was quite easy. I was just putting down the flat colors and, um, that was pretty simple. I also thought that I would try to think about like a dramatic kind of lighting, but I attempted that a bit and I just... I was indecisive, it didn't look good. I don't know, shadows looked weird. So I just thought, um, maybe I'll think about it later. But yeah, when it came to rendering, it was kind of tricky. I don't know, I, it's like I couldn't decide on what type of finish I wanted. I was really attached to the sketch, basically. 
um, and as you can see I didn't um, like create like a second like layer on top of that sketch to clean it up I just kind of cleaned up that initial sketch as I went like added more details cleaned it up to make it a bit more like line art rather than just something very very loose um, but I like the sketchiness of it you know there were some there's some lines in there that don't connect and it's kind of rough looking but it's clean in the areas that matter and I just really like that look and I didn't want to like um, get rid of it I don't know when I started to try to add more detail things kind of got a little bit um, tricky and I felt very indecisive I couldn't decide just like how to balance that kind of like I wanted it overall to feel simple but I don't know it just kept getting out of hand I redid this the rendering like three times and the, the third one is the one you're watching but honestly I I figured it out kind of like as I was going what kind of felt right I would kind of add things take away things look back at it take breaks as well I took a lot of breaks in the end, I figured out something that worked, and I'm quite happy with it. The way I was approaching, no, just in general, the way I approach, um, I guess, would I say painting? Rendering? I don't know. Like, past the flat colors. Um, it's kind of chaotic, almost. At least in my opinion. I don't know, I wish I had more of, like, uh, a structured way to go because with this I just kept adding new layers and I was like totally non-committal to some of the marks I made yeah I want to like work on a more what is it like a more tighter um, routine something that I know will work out instead of just being a bit loose and experimentive although I do like being experimental um parts of this was kind of experimental yeah i the layers were just piling up and it was getting like out of control i don't know if anybody else is like that but i don't like having many layers opened it makes me feel just like i'm getting lost like i'm getting a bit too what's the word it, it's just too much i'd like to be one of those people who use like maximum like mm, five layers on something simple you know but i don't know how many i use in the end because i did merge as i go along but i don't know i don't know <laughs> something i did struggle with doing uh was coloring her hair i've noticed yeah definitely when it comes to lighter hair it's harder for me to color um i don't know why i just i don't get it but with her hair especially blonde hair it's like for me it ends up getting either too warm or very like gray and muted and i don't know how to like make it look <laughs> make it look like appealing um like actually make it look you know healthy and like uh i want to say like vibrance um it always just kind of looks like cartoon blonde hair just light yellow i don't know that's how it was kind of looking in the beginning i had to pull up the references and then i was seeing yeah it gets pretty warm in the shadows um and yeah i don't know i don't know I, it was just a trial and error until things started to look good i tweaked the hue a few times because in the beginning i kind of got it to be a bit too golden in the movie it's a bit cooler and so i wanted to I want it to be as close to the movie's uh, depiction as I could. Um, same with the character herself. I was really like trying to make sure that her smile looked like Margot's. Um, she has a very iconic smile, a very Barbie smile. I think she was so good for the role. Um, and I think I managed to get that across. I'm quite happy with how she looks. Oh yeah, the brushes I used mainly, I mean I always list them in, I mean usually I list them in my description, but yeah, usually the brushes I use are like the flat brush that you see me on screen maybe, the one, um, the square one, it's a default brush, or the, um, the air, I didn't get that. 
What? Go away. Or the airbrush. Um, and the the HB pencil. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of it. I don't use many um, many brushes. I, I don't know. I usually just um, rotate between those. And then if I'm looking for like a very specific kind of texture, then I'll just scroll through Procreate and see what there is. But those are the, the main brushes I usually use. Now onto the cowgirl um, image on the left. This one was really cute. I found a photo of her, like a behind the scenes um, of Margot and I really liked her pose there. It was kind of cropped a bit, like it was a bit blocked, but I just decided um, I should just make her pose as though she is like a doll, with her hand kind of sticking out by her sides. And yeah, I just really wanted to draw the full outfit of the cowgirl look because it's so cute. I love the two piece, I love the color, I love the cowgirl hat and her little, what do you call that? The bandana around her neck. That looked really cool. Um, and that one was, I guess, relatively easy to do. Um, I just, again, I was just cleaning up the lines. I find that I don't like to create new layers to like make clean line art because I don't know, I just, I get so attached to the sketch sometimes and I feel like the sketch is, it's nearly there. And so it just, in my head, it's like, it makes more sense to just work on it rather than just almost seemingly starting from zero by creating a new layer on top and then like turning down the opacity of the sketch. That always makes me feel a bit overwhelmed and I, I don't know, I usually I'll just say no, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I mean, it works for me. Sometimes, depending on how, um, I don't know, how complicated the drawing is, if I really, really, really wanted it to be like precise, then I would go in with a new sketch layer. But this was meant to be kind of loose and kind of like fun. Um, at least the one on the left, the cowgirl one. And so I just cleaned up the sketch. I always do really enjoy watching something that's very uh, lively and colorful. Um, I felt that the color grading in this movie, especially while the Barbies were in Barbie land, was just super pleasing to the eyes. Um, and it was a nice break from, I guess, some of the more recent movies I've seen. Live action, that is. Um, because I feel like they can be a bit dull and very moody and intense, which I also do really like, but I love color. I love when things are very brightly lit and you can just see everything and it feels almost, I don't know, like a, like a childlike escapism kind of atmosphere. Dreamlike. It was quite dreamy. I also really just appreciate all of the um, handmade props on set. The whole set is so pretty. That house, the dream house, Barbie's dream house. I love that. Oh my God. I can't even believe that like, that's so, like it's actually like a real thing that they made. It just looks so much like the toys. Um, I remember when I was younger, I'd get those Argos catalogs or the Smith's catalog and I'd flick through to the doll section and just look at all the dolls and also the houses. And it was so cool, it was so cool, especially just to see how like tall they could get and all the slides and the pools they had, they included that in the movie, that was really great. And then also just like the background, um, I think they painted, they did like a painting in the background, they painted like the sky and the mountains and stuff and like, what is it, there's a scene where you see Barbie going into the real world and like places, those different area zones that she goes that she crosses before she gets there and you have all those moving props that was so playful and just adorable i love that it really felt like the creators you know greta and everybody else involved were like really um passionate about getting the details right and i think they nailed it they really nailed it because they totally didn't even have to do that but they did can you imagine if they hadn't and it was just like 
all of it was just CGI and other VFX, I feel like it wouldn't hit the same. It would lose its charm. At some point in the movie, they start, and by day I mean the Kens, they start singing and like, were they dancing? I think they were. And honestly, personally, I really like that. I don't know, I really like it. I always really enjoy when characters just out of the blue just start singing and dancing. I don't know, I just think it's so fun. And Ken has a really, or rather Ryan, Ryan Gosling has a really nice singing voice. Mm. Also, I don't know if I said this already, but uh, Ryan really just like, I don't want to say stole the show, but definitely he caught me off guard and I wasn't expecting him to be as good as he was. I've never seen, at that point, had I? I was not familiar at all with um, Ryan Gosling and like his, his, his craft. I was not familiar with him. After the movie, I kind of went on a bit of a Ryan Gosling binge and I just started consuming a couple movies. I haven't seen all of them, but he did a really good job. I really liked him as Ken. I think he was perfect for Ken and I can't even imagine anybody else doing as good of a job as he did. So here I'm just cleaning up. At this point, I just create a new layer on top and I kind of start painting on top of it. At this point, I don't really worry about layers, like adding new layers. I ideally like to work on like one, like create all these like cleanups on the one layer or maybe on separate layers and then I merge it as one. So I still like to save, I, I'm not the type to merge everything together. I still like to save the sketch layer, the base layer, some of the effects. And yeah, but we are basically done. Um, at the end, like, like when I, after I stopped filming, like a, a few days later, maybe the next day, I can't remember, I decided to add in a background because I felt that it looked a bit dull. But honestly, I don't really do backgrounds very much and that bugs me. And <laughs> so I just thought, let me just use this opportunity to do the background um, from that car scene because it was actually very pretty. So that was me drawing Barbie. I hope you guys enjoyed watching some of my process. I personally really liked how it turned out. It's very pretty, it's very pink. And that is all. Bye.